Hey guys, welcome to Superhero Movies. Glad to be back. I know I haven't done a review in a while, but what better way to kick this off than to show off a figure that I've been waiting for since the early 2000s when Toy Biz broke out and started doing their whole six inch line. And I've waited years and years for the perfect Spider-Man. And I think just by getting this guy out the box and messing around with it, I think Diamond Select Toys, Marvel Select, I think they hit it out the box with this one. I'm pretty sure they hit it out the box with this one. I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge once this review is over. But I think uh, I, think I found the perfect Spider-Man fig. But let's get into it. You can see the color scheme is just perfect. The raised webbing is just, let's get a close up. The raised webbing is it's perfect, it's flawless. I do have some black paint issues right here, but it's just these two issues. Remember Diamond Select put up, put up some photos and they had major paint issues but this figure is perfect when it comes to the paint job and the scale as well we get into that but let's get a side view of the head scope look at those eyes beautiful eyes on the mask take a look at the back side of the arms for those of you worried about the raised webbing it's perfect it's not uh, it's not too messy the detail of the suit is actually it's kind of smooth you don't feel the texture like you did with the, the first amazing spider-man fig but very smooth and paint is perfect here the boots, the bottom of the boots, now this is the unmasked version, this is the Disney exclusive unmasked version, but um, I'll show you that head sculpt in a minute, matter of fact let me show that now, this is the um, head comes right off and then you can just pop it pop it right back on now me personally that's supposed to be Andrew Garfield but per nah, to me I won't be using this head scope the hair is sculpted perfectly, but as you see, he got some some paint issues going on on his face. That fixed right. But yeah, I won't be using that um that head sculpt. I don't know, you guys be the judge. Is it worth it? I don't like the head scope, but so he I won't be posing him with this head. Scoop that right off now. The accessories it comes with does does come with this webbing. And it comes with this other piece of webbing another long piece of webbing that I guess attached to the hand there's a couple of hands that has an open fist you can stick the web right in there and he has the web shooting hand now when you take it out of package the web is going to come off but you can easily as you can see, 
there's a slit right there and you can pop it back in Hold on a second yeah see it pops right back pops in and out pops in and out with no problem he comes with closed fist as well closed and open for swinging and that's about it for accessories now I know everybody the big gripe with uh, Marvel Select is their articulation well let me let me be the first to say this is not superior spider-man <laughs> I know that figure uh, everybody great sculpt great sculpt but the articulation let's just be honest it sucked especially when it came to the legs the hips and the legs is just terrible still great sculpt though but it's terrible but this guy this guy is almost perfect the head goes up fairly well goes down decently it is on a ball joint arms go out elbow elbows on a swivel as well hinge wrist now here's the let's get to the hips hips go forward come out to the side <laughs> so you can get him in some dynamic poses that that won't be a problem but this cut right here I really don't like it because it messes up the scope a little bit and it makes his body right here makes him look a little chunky look at it from the side especially from the back makes him look a little makes him look a little hefty I don't know you guys be the judge it's like he has no muscle tone in his back a little bit but that's the only gripe about this fig With that being said, is it a 10 out of 10? To me, I'm a little biased. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 only because of this area over here. But other than that, oh, I almost forgot. People wanted to know, double knees, and yes ankle rocker up and down yep ankle rocker for you guys that wanted to know sorry about that but to me 9.5 I actually I actually love this fig have to play with it some more but And besides the little uh the little paint this is a pretty this is a pretty damn good figure diamond select you guys you guys hit it out the park with this one so for you guys who who are wanting a uh a legit spider-man to go with your marvel select figures that has the classic suit the iconic suit then this is the guy oh I know some people are gonna ask well how does he look standing next to Venom and so I got him let's see there he goes standing 
right in front of Venom. Another classic Marvel Select figure. Alright guys, enjoy. Pick it up. It's in stores uh, this upcoming Wednesday. It's the regular version, it's not the unmasked version. And the uh, unmasked version hits, I think, at the end of June, I believe. But, yeah, pick it up in stores. I, I would suggest pick it up in stores so you can sift through one so you would get a perfect one so there won't be any messed up paint apps or missing paint apps. But, um, all right, guys, I'm out. You got to You got to admit, this is a bad dude right here. I'm loving this fig. All right, guys. Peace.